It's time, drivers. Time to drive the Widemax X Max. But first, let's do a quick recap. I got a brand new Solar Flare X-Max in. I did a quick overview of it and then took it out so you guys could see how it performs right out of the box. After that, I got a brand new Wide Max kit, which improves stability. I showed you guys what was inside and then installed it on the truck. And then to bump up the dirt shredding action even more, I installed sledgehammer tires. And now we just have to head outside and take this thing for a rip. All right, drivers, I've really been looking forward to this. See what the wide max kit on the X-Max is all about. And it seems smooth suspension wise. Look at that. But the steering, steering's diminished a little bit. Definitely notice that. So we got butter smooth suspension. Now we need a steering tweak, I think. But why am I focusing on that? Let's focus on the suspension right now. And it works well. Super stable. I mean, nothing there. Nice floating roller. All right, let's do this double. Quick few rips on this double here. All right, here we go. Oh, cut that one a little short, but the suspension just soaked it right up. We're good, we're good. Here we go, spin it around. Not easily. Nice. Just gathers it right up on that landing. There you go. One more. Boop. That was nice. All right, switch it up. We'll get some air off of this one. Ready? Around the berm. Oh, we'll stop at the end. Again, this is the factory setup that they recommend. Let's do this again. Nice, on the downside of that jump. That's perfect. This is the type of air you can get with the factory setup if you got a lander at the end. Here we go again. Nice. That one, barely any chirp out of the tires. Definitely didn't hit the chassis. Easy, there we go. A little bit more steering on pavement. Nice, another one, nice one. All right, let's switch it up again. Here we go, the big tabletop jump. Just soaked up that lander. Cut a little short, but it just soaked it all up. That's what I was expecting out of this thing. Just making those landings so much easier. So get this thing turned around, here we go. Roll off this and go big. Oh, came close to that pole there. Got a little wonky on the entry. But saved it, here we go. Get this thing turned around. Oh, thought the steering was good with the stock suspension, but here we definitely need some tuning. All right, rolling this and go big. Nice, oh, a little slap at the end. So definitely not flat landing oil in these shocks. <laughs> definitely need to hit that lander, we'd be good. All right, gotta do one more here. Here we go, ready? Little bounce again. All right, I'm gonna go off this waterfall. Let's do this. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Nice. Six pack, let's do six pack. We gotta do the six pack while we're here. Around the berm. Here we go. Roll it. Hit it. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. I love it. I think we gotta do the big berm jump now. I'm too excited to drive this some more. I need some big air, and this is where I'm gonna get it. Let's thread the needle here. Send it off the jump. Whoa! Oh, so much slapped, it bounced back up and over. All right, we knew that was gonna happen. 
with the factory oil set up, but we're gonna have some more fun. That's what it's all about. <laughs> I'll end of that one. I think I could pull the backflip on this. Let's try it. Why not, right? I know you guys are instigating me. Here we go. Thread the needle here. Backflip. Yeah, there we go. Love this truck. So awesome. All right, let's head back to the studio for a quick wrap up. Well, drivers, I'm really on the fence about the Wide Max kit for the X Max. You know, it does work. Uh, honestly, when I was out there driving this thing, the truck was a lot more stable. However, it came with a price. It didn't steer as well as it did in stock form. And this was a completely stock truck. Uh, I threw the Wide Max kit on there and I have the sledgehammer tires. Uh, but when I went out there to drive it, it wasn't as easy to control. It mostly just get around the corners. There's just a lot of understeer, you know, and because of that, you're going to have to go and upgrade some other parts. I'm gonna have to go and upgrade the steering, obviously, and I think some setup as well. So in one respect, does it do its job? Yes, it does. It was very stable when I was going off some jumps. It gathered the truck right back up. Uh, you know, it was definitely a lot more stable going through some of the high speed corners some because it was under steering, but it did not roll over when I had the stock truck pushing it through corners in a similar fashion, it would roll over. Um, so it is definitely stable and it's definitely really easy to install as well. If you're looking for an all in one kit to just drop on to get some stability, it, it works. It does actually work. But, uh, I think to get the maximum performance out of it, yeah, I said max. To get the maximum performance out of it, you know, you're gonna have to do some other work, some tuning and some more upgrades, which means some more money. So is it worth it? I don't know. I actually really enjoy the X Max with the stock suspension on there. And since I like running stuff with the, the stock electronics, I had good luck with it. And I, I really enjoyed how it drove. I don't know what I'm really going to do. I, I have another X Max that I've been planning on upgrading. And I do have a, an aftermarket electronics package for it and everything. So I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm actually going to pull the suspension off of this truck, put it on that other project truck and leave this one pretty much stock and enjoy it as is. I mean, the X-Max is really cool. It's one of the best basher trucks out there. And, and that's right out of the box. It's just a really cool truck. So like I said, you know, if you're looking for more stability in an all-in-one package, this is gonna do it, but uh, I'm not 100% sold on it. Uh, those sledgehammer tires I threw on the truck, those are some pretty gnarly tires. They shredded dirt, they tore up grass, they have a lot of traction. However, I did manage to blow one off the wheel and kind of just wound up doing donuts in the parking lot after that. Uh, so that's a bummer. That's actually not cool to get a brand new set and have a tire blow off. So I'm gonna have to go through that tire, clean it all up, make sure I get all the dirt out of the inside and re-glue it again. However, all the others are fine. So let me know what you think about the Wide Max conversion on there, how you like to drive your car. It's just stock out of the box or do you think this wide thing is really the way to go? while you're down there hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell i'll have links in the video description throw the video a like and we'll see you back soon for some more rc driver videos